Welcome, Big. What's up? Welcome, everybody. It's week five. Week five. Yep, yep. That's right. Taylor, what you learning? What we learning today? Yeah. So today we're learning about self control, and self control is so so important. Alexis, come on, come on, stay with me, stay with us. Okay. Stay with us. All okay. right. Practice self control right now, self -control. right? Right now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're learning about self control, and it's super important because self control allows us to actually use each and every one of the tools that we've learned about and rooted incorporate these past couple of weeks. Isn't that right? What? What'd you say? Exactly. So. Using self-control is so important. And it's so important that you know that the Lord has given us self-control. Yes, and so the Lord this has is given actually, us self-control. This is actually the tiebreaker week. It's the tiebreaker week! Wait, 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 wait. Come back, come back, come back. Okay. Getting ready, staying ready, stay ready, girls. The guys have been really good and the girls have been really good at the challenge each and every week and obviously, Alexis is super, I'm super ready. Let's get this excited. party started. All right. She's spoken, ladies and gentlemen. Let's well, I guess we're not started. supposed to do challenges yet. We're going into the teaching. We're going into the teaching. Which I am giving the teaching. Um, so you need to focus on so it. I need to make sure I'm doing We have to teach them about self-control. Right. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, let's do that first, and then we'll get to the challenges, Biggs. See you soon. See you guys. Hello, Biggs. Welcome to our final, final, last, 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 for real, phase or training of a Rooted Incorporated. I'm so sad about it, but I'm also super excited because that means we've all learned and grew, grown so, so, so much, right? So, again, remind me, what is Rooted Incorporated? We're passionate about being rooted in who? Remind me, who is it? We're being rooted in Jesus. That's right, being rooted in Jesus. That means being firm, being established, being secure in him. Kind of like how the, the ground beneath you, it's firm, it's established, you know? Stop your feet on the ground. Is it firm? Is it established? Is it secure? Yeah, I bet it is. And that's exactly like how Jesus is with us. And we are rooted in Jesus here at Rooted Incorporated. Okay, Biggs, but today I have a question for every single one of you, and we're gonna answer that question here today in our training, okay? And that question is, how do I make the right choice even when it's really, really, really hard, okay? How do you do that? I mean, I know we've all faced decisions probably every single day when we, we know the right thing to do, but we don't wanna do it, so we don't do it, right? How many of us have been there? Yep, you better raise your hand. I know you've been there, even leaders in the room. We've all been there before. We still face these things. I remember growing up, you guys, don't do this at home, okay? I hope that everyone here is nice to their grandparents, but y'all, I was so not nice to my grandma. I was a terrible kid to my grandma. I still to this day apologize to her all the time. Growing up, for example, one time, she would not let me cut the line to go get ice cream in front of everybody else because the line was super long. She wouldn't let me go. She wouldn't let me cut. And so what I do? Kicked her. I kicked her, literally. Isn't that terrible? I don't remember if it was a hard kick. It probably hurt her pretty bad, but I still feel bad about that, right? So in that moment, I was faced with a choice. I was faced with, hmm, I could either be patient and trust my grandma that we're gonna wait in line like everybody should, or I can take out my anger because in that moment, you know how it feels. You get angry that you didn't get your way. You get angry that someone didn't believe you, that you needed something, or you get angry that someone lied about you, whatever it may be, but we have an opportunity to have self-control, okay? So that's our question today. How do I make the right choice even when it's really, really, really hard? I think of us, some of us maybe even if you're at a sleepover and your friends are over at your house and they're like, ooh, I want a color, but you don't have enough colors for everybody. So what do you do? You go to your siblings' little room, area in their room, and you get their colors without them knowing and then you give them to all your friends and they color away with them and then you just sneak them back in their room before they even know it. But then they realize that you took their colors. And what do you want to do? You might want to not tell the truth in that moment. You might want to say, no, that wasn't me. But what would God want us to do? He wouldn't want us to do that. So how do I make the right choice even when it's really, really hard? Okay, big. so what are we gonna do about this? If we all struggle with this, we all have a hard time making the right choice at times, what do we do? The right answer is for you to pause, pray, and ask for God to give you strength to make the right choice, okay? And I know it might sound like, really, that's what I need to do, pause and pray, but yeah, if I would've just paused in that moment, whenever I wanted to kick my grandma, 
I would have just paused and went, Holy Spirit, would you please give me the strength to not be so angry and upset right now? And help me to remember, you know what? I can be grateful because I'm getting ice cream in general right now. Amen. And I took a deep breath. I promise you, I know that would have helped me. If I would have paused and prayed and asked God to give me strength. You know what this makes me think of? This makes me think of Mario Kart, okay? How many of y'all played Mario Kart before? I am a beast at Mario Kart. All of you are going down if we raced. We raced, and I'm so good at it, okay? I'm actually lying through my teeth. I'm, I'm really terrible at it. But <laughs> I'll tell you why I'm terrible at it. Oftentimes, I'll play Mario Kart, and I'll forget that I have a power-up. You know how when you're playing Mario Kart, you're driving, driving, and then you hit the star, and like, psh, you hit the star, and you're like, yeah! And it's like, ding, 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 ding. And then you have like a power-up, right? Sometimes that power-up makes you go double as fast. Isn't that so exciting? But oftentimes I'll be playing and I'll totally be so focused on what I'm feeling right now. I'll be so focused on, oh, let me beat this person. Let me go, go, go. Then I forget I have a power-up. And that power-up would help me go even faster. And you know what? I feel like a lot of times when we're going through life, when we face hard decisions, like wanting to lie about something, or maybe wanting to yell at someone when we're angry, maybe wanting to say something rude or talk back to our parents, maybe wanting to go interrupt our parents when they're talking to an adult, but we know that they wouldn't want us to do that. Maybe it's burping at the dinner table and your parents told you not to do that anymore, okay? We all face those moments of, oh man, I just wanna do this thing, but we forget we have a power up. And you know what? That power up is Jesus. It's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives on the inside of you. And you know how I know? Well, Philippians 4, 13, it says, I can do all things through Christ because he gives me strength. All things through Christ. I can do anything. So not only does that make you a better leader, can that help you be better at school and, and make friends, but also when we face hard decisions, we can do all things through Christ because he gives me strength. He is my power up whenever I have a hard decision to make. So babes, let's decide together. We're gonna make the hard choices and say, you know what? I'm gonna do what God wants me to do in this moment. Okay, so big, I want you to say this with me, okay? The words are gonna be on the screen. Are you ready? One, two, three. I am rooted in self-control because God gives me strength. One more time, you ready? One, two, three. I am rooted in self-control because God gives me strength. Let me see your strong arms, okay? We are rooted in self-control and we can have self-control in every hard moment because God gives us strength, all right? And you know what? Whenever we have self-control, and we do the things that God would want us to do and, th and that our leaders are asking us to do, I promise you, you'll have more joy. I promise you. Promise, 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 okay? So this next week, I wanna challenge you to make those right choices and to pause and pray and ask God for strength, okay? We love you so, so, so much, big. That's our final phase training of Rooted Incorporated. But hey, if you've never given your heart to Jesus, you've never made him your best friend and became truly rooted in Jesus, then I want you to talk to a leader today. Think to yourself, is that me? Have I given my heart to Jesus? Have I made him my best friend? Or maybe you feel convicted. And what that means is you just feel God is speaking to you right now, telling you that you can be more rooted in self-control. If either of those are you, I want you to go talk to a leader today, right after this, okay? Sound good? Love you so much, big. All right, babies! Y'all know what time it is. Y'all yeah, yeah, know yeah, yeah. what time it is. It's all right. It's the challenge, challenge time. time. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's get this party started, Pam. All right, challenge number one is going to be a dance off. A That's dance right. competition. We need our first and second graders to join first us, and okay? Second graders, first come and on. second graders, stand to your feet stand right up, now. Stand up, stand I mean up. it. Come on, stand up to your feet. Self control, okay? <clears throat> let's go, girls. All right. All right, hold up, watch out. Y'all ready for this? Go, big lighter! And the winners were the girls! Oh. Yeah! Did you oh see that coffee God. grinder, Biggs? Did you see that coffee grinder? Victory lap! All right, this next game is obvious. It's the cup game, and for this game, 
We're gonna need our support from our second and third graders in the room, okay? Where are you at, second and third grade? All right, second and third grade. All right, where are you at, girls? Head, All around. shoulders, elbows, toes, knees, come. <laughs> That's okay, yeah. girls! That's okay! Yeah. We can get yeah. that time! Let's go! Alright, y'all, it's the right. last it's round! It's the final round. It's the final round. Yeah, alright, let's just you tell them what we're doing. Okay, well this is for you fifth graders in the room. Where you at fifth grade? We heard that one of y'all's favorite challenges was the try not to ha ha ha. That yeah. challenge. Number one for the Los Angeles traffic today is nine-year-old Tommy Douglas. Tommy has lived most of his life in the hospital after being born with a potato for a heart and will undergo a heart transplant surgery next weekend. He's about as big of a traffic fan as they come, so in partnership with the Grant wish Foundation, both teams have agreed to come together and have Tommy run the first play of the game. And he got the handoff, and there he goes. Made a little cutback move, and it looks like he's going to go all the way. <laughs> Look at him go. Wow. This is really one of those heartwarming moments in sports where you just... Oh! Tyler <laughs> A few moments later. All right, I need y'all to count down from five with me. We're about to pie Taylor in the face. Are y'all ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go drive down! Oh! <laughs> wow. That looks good, huh? That looks, this tastes good. <laughs> we'll see you for the graduation ceremony. Love y'all. Oh, man. Wow, Taylor, you cleaned up real fast. Do I have everything? Is everything gone? It's all gone, but you're, you know, you lost. That's not gone. Your girl, girl won. Hey. I'm using some major, major self-control right now. Oh. To be, you know, a good sport and say you did a good job. Hey, well, I, I thank you for that. I'm going to use self-control right now and not talk about it anymore. Girls are winners. Okay, that was the last time. Okay. <laughs> but hey, Biggs, this is one of my most exciting times ever. This is one of the most exciting moments of my life. What are we about to do? Our what? You, you, you tell them what we're about to do? We're, we're about to do our, our graduation ceremony. Our graduation ceremony, Biggs! All of our trainees have now been trained and they've gone through all the weeks of training. And so it is time for them to, to go graduate. out and graduate. Which we never really graduate from being rooted in Jesus, of course. No. But we're just saying, hey, we're acknowledging that all of you learned so much through being at Rooted Incorporated. And now we're saying you can go out. Since you've learned all of this, you've graduated from this training, you can now go out and teach others all of these amazing things. Yes. Okay, I need everybody to stand to their feet. Stand on your feet, on your feet, on your feet. On your feet. Right now, yes, everyone, if you're in Guatemala, stand on your feet. If Frisco. You're in Dallas, Frisco, San Antonio, where are you at? If you're at home, stand on your feet. Okay. Now, I'm gonna say what you learned, week one, two, three, four, and five, and I want you to repeat it after me, okay? So I'm gonna say it, and then you can repeat it with the bigs. All right, all right ready? All right. Here we go. So in week number one, I, I learned how to be rooted in Jesus. I learned how to be rooted in Jesus. All right, in week number two, I learned how to be rooted in who God made me to be. I learned how to be rooted in who God made me to be. So good. Okay, we're keeping going. Week number three, I learned how to be rooted in confidence. I learned how to be rooted in confidence. Awesome. And in week number four, I learned how to be rooted in forgiveness. I learned how to be rooted in forgiveness. In week five, we learned how to be rooted in self-control. I learned how to be rooted in self-control. Job, great babe. job, everybody. Great job, great job. You learned all of those things and more than that. And we're going to keep learning and keep growing all those things for the rest of our lives for sure. But by the power vested in me through me, you, and Rooted Incorporated, and, and God, I now celebrate all of you as graduates of Rooted Incorporated. Woo! Woo! You did it. Thanks. You did it.
did it, can I get your chair? Come on, you did it, you stay, Rudy, you leave Rudy, it, you learn. Rudy, okay, now Rudy. we have to end with one way. I mean, by yes. singing our anthem. Yes, our jingle. We have our to. Jingle. We've been trying to figure it out week by week by week. And we finally got it. We did. We finally got it. So all right. it's time. So we're going to sing it this first together. time so you can hear. And this second time, we're going to all sing it together. All right. Okay? Stay standing. All right, stay here we standing. Go. Come on, man. All right. Incorporated. It's where you grow. All right. Okay. I think y'all got it. All right. Got it? Here we go. One, two, three. Rooted. Incorporated. It's where you grow. Ah, oh, great job!